Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my famous ranch and um, I don't know you guys have just been so sweet to me in the comments uh, and when you guys tell me that you're going to need these recipes for your babies it just I'm at a point where I just want to give you all the recipes that I know how to do so that you can be successful with your home cooking. So without further ado let me show you how I make the best homemade ranch recipe all right don't forget to look in the description area for more recommendations like if you're going to take it to a fiesta a potluck and if you're going to be serving it the same day uh, make sure you take a look at that because it has great recommendations for you to shine like a superstar so let's get started we're going to begin by adding our our dairy okay so this is heavy whipping cream if you don't have heavy whipping cream you can make this with milk but it's not going to come out as creamy as um, well, how I personally like my ranch. I like it really creamy. I'm gonna add some buttermilk. And if you don't have buttermilk or you don't like the buttermilk, you can just keep this, uh, this part out, okay? And if you decide to opt out for buttermilk, make sure you add one fourth of milk. I'm gonna add our mayo. And what I'm gonna say to you is, make sure that you add a little bit of your mayo at a time because not all mayonnaise is created equal, so add about three tablespoons and then go from there. Sour cream. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this well, so it's gonna be about 30 seconds to a minute that we're gonna be mixing. Mayo, mayo flavored whipped cream. Just <laughs> you sicko. <laughs> that would be so gross. Okay, friends, once we're done mixing all of our dairy ingredients, I want you to give it a taste because sometimes um, I know that I've had ranch that just tastes way too much like mayo and I like a balanced flavor. You know, you guys hear me all the time. It's because I do. But if you like that mayo base in your ranch, this is a part where you might want to adjust and add maybe one or two extra tablespoons uh, from what I recommended. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and add some delicious seasonings. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my pepper, my salt, and I did not say salt and pepper because you know that would trigger me, guys. <laughs> I would start saying, you know what? I was thinking it. <laughs> you were thinking it? Yep. Okay. Can you add all the seasonings at once? Of course, but I like getting romantic with my ranch so it can taste extra delicious. And everything's blended. Yep, that's our garlic powder. If you use fresh garlic for this, you're gonna have a very pungent garlic taste, so be subtle, be discreet with your garlic powder. Is it like that time that you added um, onion powder? Girl, I knew you were gonna say <laughs> that. Was it, uh, was it, what was it? Was it onion chunks? I made this one time when I added a granulated onion powder. It's way too strong for this, so make sure that you're picking onion powder. Now that I said that, let's add our onion powder. Now that she said that, never again. Well, you hardly ever have an opinion about what I eat. Like, you're very uh, easy to please, but I know that even for me, I was like, what the heck did I do? So, made some ranch chicken in the oven. And it worked for that. <laughs> I know you guys see how runny this is. Don't worry, once you refrigerate this for a few hours and it gets nice and cold, you get that creaminess that we all love. So now I'm gonna add my sugar. I know a lot of you watch your weight and your calories, so if you don't wanna use the sugar, you don't have to, but it definitely helps marry all these delicious flavors and give you that delicious ranch balance. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some parsley, and that's dried parsley. If you're gonna be consuming all that ranch for a party. Whatever do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna be using it to consume for a party and it's for that particular day, I'm gonna leave an option for fresh ingredients in the description area that you can add. For example, the parsley, you could have added uh, half of the dried and then half of fresh parsley to really make it stand out for that, you know, that fiesta. 
But you made it comfortable for your home because you don't like fresh parsley. I do, but I'm very selective about it. I can handle it in ranch, but today we're using dried parsley. <laughs> <laughs> parsley flakes. And this is a very important one to get a good, delicious flavor into your ranch, and it's dill weed. Ooh. Okay. Again, if you're going to be making it for uh, the same day fiesta or the next day, you can use half dry, half fresh, and that'll really set it. Set it and forget it, and you'll shine like a star you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys can show off a little bit of, like, of that with your family. Because I know some of you guys get really excited to be able to never make something before, and you try these recipes, and, you know, you get to show off a bit. All right, and some celery seed. If you don't have celery seed, you can still make this, but I think that it gives it that unique blend, and it's very subtle. Don't use uh, fresh celery for this, okay? Only to dip it in. Yep. When you're gonna add your vinegar and your lemon juice, make sure that you use the quantities that I left in the description for you, because if you use too much of it, you can really turn this ranch and it'd just be too sour to consume. So take it easy and adjust as you go, okay? So that's my lemon juice and my vinegar blend. And when you add lemon juice and vinegar, it keeps in your refrigerator a little bit longer. Let me go ahead and give this a delicious taste. Double it up. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. That's a yes. That's a yes? Mm -hmm. Woo! As Bebe says, nailed it. Nailed it. I've never wanted to um, have ranch dressing as soup before until now. This is amazing. It really is a, a go-to recipe. Yes. Now it's time to go ahead and pick what container you're going to put your ranch in. So if you recycled your bottle of your favorite ranch, make sure you wash it, dry it well, and then add it. But I'm going to be using this cup that has a good little seal on it. I got these at Costco a while back. Don't know if we can find them. But this one works for me because quick and easy open. And just make sure you're using a clean spoon every time. Don't double dip. Not so, for this. Don't do don't, what I do sometimes. Don't do what you do. <laughs> <laughs> Some, I didn't double dip. No, you didn't. Yeah, when it's stuff like this, I will not double dip. <laughs> but if I'm doing, it's usually whenever. When it's just us two gonna, that are going to eat something, we double dip. Yeah, or if day. I'm doing a guisado, yep. I double dip a lot. And I'm sorry, guys, if I'm working on it, not in front of you guys, but behind your back, just know that I'm possibly doing it. And I'm egging it on. Do it, do it. Get another taste. <laughs> <laughs> This right here is a ranch that I made about a day ago. I made this one a day ago and then I made this one because I'm gonna need ranch for something we have going on in the house, but I wanna show you how creamy this ranch is once it's refrigerated. Ooh. See that? Mm-hmm. Now let me show you how runny it is when it's fresh. Oh, okay. So if you wanna keep it this runny, Go ahead and add an extra one-fourth tablespoon of milk. It'll stay a little bit runnier because I have a lot of the heavy cream base that it'll get thick like this. And this is how I like my ranch. Yes, me too. Like thick ranch. We like it runnier. And that's why my sister is the official ranch maker of our family, among <laughs> other things. <laughs> hey, but I make it easy for everybody to be able to make it. We don't so, care. We want you to make it. <laughs> girl, quit playing games, Cloud. Now... Let's give this a taste, girl. Give it a taste. I'm gonna let me see. I'm gonna taste the fresh one so you guys can a see. A moment that. of silence while you while you taste test. Well, look at my celery is fresh, but it's not fresh. Right. It's oxidized. Well, girl, you're good. Looks fresh to me. Well, I'm giving you that match.com angle. Pulls for us. Taste this, girl. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's better than them ant logs I used to eat at school. Why did I knew you were gonna start with that? 
Okay, friends, I hope you enjoyed this bomb.com <laughs> homemade ranch recipe. It's super popular once you make it at home. Uh, please come back and let me know what you thought about it and if you made any wild adjustments because I know a lot of you are really creative. That's probably why we get along so well. Um, let me know in the comments. I'm excited to read your guys' feedback. Also, keep your alerts on because somehow with the whole YouTube change of the subscriber count, a lot of you lost your notifications. So make sure you click that bell unclick it and then click it again and then you're going to pick how you want to receive uh, your notifications of when our recipes come through click all a l l wow cloud really loved okay i'm going to say this cloud and i have been reading the comments and then like she'll go reply to you guys sometimes but she gets super excited and chat with you guys as well so thank you guys for loving us and on that one i'll see you guys tomorrow bye adios Chat, babe. So are mine. I remember I said three or four times a day you gotta put that chapstick on. Okay. Okay. I'll put it out. Um, I'm gonna put it on when I'm, when I'm done. The ultimate this Star year. Wars fan well, this year. Thank I'm goodness. super excited to have my baby boy. Well, it's my punky. He's my older son. And when he taste tests certain things that I make, it makes me happy because that way I know how to adjust and switch it up to make it comfortable for my home. And apparently you're ready. The ranch connoisseur. Here yeah. he is. He's not crazy about celery, so this is. This is a really good moment. You think it tastes better with celery or carrots? Carrots. Carrots? What do you think of the ranch itself? It tastes good. That's it. It tastes like the same like yesterday. It tastes like all my ranch? <laughs> it tastes like the same as yesterday. It does it? Yeah. So, so the ranch expert. So would you recommend it with ranch? Because you love dipping things. <laughs> Let me clean your bit. Hmm? Yeah, it tastes good. What if kids don't like ranch? Should they try it? Yeah, because we have a lot of friends that, that are on the spectrum. People, there's a lot of ranch. There's a lot of ranch that people can taste that. People that can taste. So they should try it or no? It, they can try different ranch. They can try different recipes and see what works for them? Is mm -hmm. that what you're trying to say? That's a good idea. <laughs> That's good advice. I wish I had a friend like you when I was younger. But do, <laughs> but do you like your mom's ranch or the one in the bottle? If you had to choose, you can only pick one. It's okay if you don't yes, pick mom. The best. This I, one? I always want to try. I want to try this with pizza. With pizza? Yes. <laughs> Drop the hand. Well, the just hint. so just so you know, some of the times when I've sneaked it into that bottle, it's my ranch. <laughs> Mom, hey girl, it works. That's why I was asking. Yeah, I mean, hey, he's a little bit older, so he knows my struggles. Moms, if you're at home and your kids are specific about a certain ranch, just keep the bottle because sometimes it's just packaging that that ends up being the problem here. Okay, so you guys adjust it. You know what I mean, and make it comfortable for your home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for tasting, Punky. Okay. You wanna say bye to our friends? Bye. Oh, you're not gonna tell anybody to subscribe, Bye. hit the bell? You guys are on that par with that anymore? <laughs> Wait, what do you say? <laughs> oh, do you remember? Are we gonna tell them, like, subscribe, comment, like? Whoa, I got so excited, I almost flipped the camera. <laughs> so, so, so if you like this, so if you like this video, click, 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 click the bell for notification. Ding! Ding! Oh, I <laughs> chat with you! How did I get so lucky, kid? I'm definitely gonna go turn on my <laughs> notifications. <laughs> Just so I can hear the ding. Do you want to say thank you to our friends? They got us to 200,000 subscribers. And thank you. And thank you, friends, for getting us 2,000 subscribers. Bye. Adios. <laughs> He's like, oh, my ranch. Bye. I can't with it. My baby. I'm so glad you like mommy's cookie. I always like your cookie. Oh. See, we're going to say, see, mama, how you tell me. I've been telling my friends on how you say it in Spanish. See, see, mama. <laughs> I mean, how am I not going to give him what he wants? I'm we, gonna, you I'm know what? We need a ranch to... snack party right now. <laughs> yeah, you know what we need to do? We need to show our friends how you know how to make um, eggs and peas. Oh, I, did, I made Ooh, that. Oh, that before. recipe's amazing. Yeah. Your we can either do so that, funny, babe, or we can make them spooky pancakes. Mm. Spooky we'll pancakes, girl. Yeah. So All right. Bad. So keep an eye out, guys. Set your notifications because I want to do it tomorrow. We can. Guys, he yes. calls my sister girl because of me. It's not to be disrespectful. It's our thing in our family where we play around. We're like, hey, girl. Hey, hey. girl. Even let Robert, me. we call girl. <laughs> hey, let me be the cool mom while I can, okay? I know. We even call your man girl. We're like, hey, girl. And Robert just responds to you. Yeah. All right, Punky. Thank you. I'm done. I'm done. You're done? Bye, okay. kids. Bye. Bye. Thanks for trying the ranch. Do you want to want some carrot sticks? I'm going to go to the garage real quick because this is not a cucumber, Punky. This is a cookie. Oh, I wonder what I
everybody went out on the taste of this ranch. Mmm. Oh, this is amazing.